right, let's turn stateside to economic issues that are facing those specific states. We're talking especially the negative fallout from President Trump's signature tax law on some states. Some in Congress say that their constituents are being hurt by caps on state and local tax deductions. Joining us right now is Congressman Josh Gottheimer from New Jersey. And Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. How are you? Good. Um, we've spent a lot of time talking about the unintended con consequences of the new tax law, the things like the Gold Star families that ended up paying more on taxes. I don't think this was an unintentional effect. I think this was very intentional to try and uh, punish some of the states uh, where you did see blue states and where you saw high taxes coming in. What do you think? 100 percent. In fact, uh, I have colleagues who actually admitted to me they were trying to stick it to uh, a few of the states, including mine in Jersey. And, you know, Secretary Mnuchin was before the Financial Services Committee last week, and I asked him a question, what's the impact of SALT bin? And he said he's, they are seeing it's having an economic impact on several states, and they're monitoring it closely. They admitted what we already know, that it's really hitting a bunch of our states hard. And uh, the accountant association in New Jersey put out a survey in the last couple of weeks since tax day saying that 60 percent of accountants are actually recommending to their clients that they consider leaving New Jersey. Wow. Because of the because of the salt tax, so we've got to actually really, really, really reinstate salt and not let them gut it and and basically put a double taxation on us, which had a huge impact on my district. Yeah, I, I feel your pain. You are my congressman. I live in your district. I know. Um, I, I know, and I want you to stay. But but I, I will tell you, I understand the arguments from the other side, saying why should state and local. Uh, uh, local areas be able to raise taxes so much and then get a rebate from the federal government? What's the, what's the response to that? Well, of course, historically, it's double taxation, right? So you can't tax people twice on the same income, which I agree with. And, and also, remember that our state, New Jersey, like others, greatly supports these other states, right? I affectionately call these other states moocher states. In our district, we've historically gotten back 33 cents for every dollar we've sent to the federal government. Mississippi gets back $4.38 for every dollar. Right, so there's a huge amount of support that goes to these other states. We're talking about stopping double taxation, making sure that we're able to actually deduct it. And, you know, we're a more expensive part of the country. It's more expensive to operate here. There's no reason you penalize New Jersey for that. And, you know, it's time we actually get real tax relief instead of continuing to give handouts to these other states at the cost of some like New Jersey, New York, Connecticut. It's really absurd. It's a we have a hundred million dollar a day economy here, right? A hundred million dollar a day regional economy. To actually keep taking shots at it and trying to undermine our financial security here is outrageous. I know you're the co-chair of the Problem Solvers Caucus, which is a bipartisan group. Um, and I'm guessing you have some bipartisan support for this, but I'm also guessing you only get that from uh, congressmen in about five states. California, Illinois, uh, New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut. Is that right? Yeah, uh, so it's California and Maryland and, and Illinois, Maryland. all the states, all the states you, you mentioned. Yeah, actually, it's broader than you think because there's this principle against double taxation, which is what we're facing here. I think everyone wants tax relief. They know we've gotten stuck. It hurts the national economy when this part of the country is ailing. And we were, New Jersey was the number one out-migration state last year in the country. And why? Because of the tax hike, because of SALT. So we need to actually reinstate SALT fully, get those taxes down. And, you know, that's a big, big priority for me. So do you have support in Congress enough to actually do that? I think we got big support in the House. The Senate is more challenging. But, you know, interestingly, something else I talked to uh, Secretary Mnuchin about last week is, and we've talked about this before, the charitable tax deduction, right, which is something that 33 states have been utilizing to help give tax relief for decades now, like Alabama and Mississippi. And, you know, the IRS has put this on hold. New Jersey passed a law last year to allow us, our states, if you can give local money to your, your town to actually get a charitable tax deduction for things like law enforcement and education like other states have been doing. And we, I asked Secretary about it last week, and he admitted that these other states have been taking it, and they're trying to figure out a way to preserve it. But he, he, ten, he tended to imply that he was going to try to protect it for the other states that have been the using Treasury's it for years. Already, yeah, the Treasury's already put out... Uh, provisional guidelines on provisional, that. Provisional guidelines saying forget about it just because you, you try and look... I mean, they look at it as a tax yes, dodge. But what, if you're going to give money to your, local, uh, to your local jurisdiction under the guise of charitable foundation and then, uh, of, of charity and then be able to write it off, they say that's, that's not the case. But here's the problem they ran into. 33 states have been using it for decades, and mm -hmm. now those states, like Alabama, Mississippi, and others, and Georgia... You're talking about red states. Right, the red states are saying, oh, a second, you can, you, can, you can stick it to them, the blue states that we stuck it to already on salt, but you can't touch our deductions, right? Okay. So now, now suddenly it's gotten more complicated for the Treasury Department and for the IRS. And so, uh, and Secretary Mnuchin admitted that last week to me that this is very complicated. 
Uh, so, so I think that's an area to fight. We just got to keep looking for ways to fight back to actually cut taxes for us. And, you know, of course, later today, I'm actually going with, uh, with, with some members of the Chamber of Commerce and Labor to talk about infrastructure and getting more resources to get that going, because that's another great bipartisan area where we've got to get things going, because that's another big economic impact and big economic factor on our region, as you know, because you drive here and you know what it's like. We've mm -hmm. got to figure out ways to get our, we've got to get our infrastructure fixed. We've got to get our taxes down. Right? These are basic things to keep the economy humming. Josh, who's your dream ticket? Uh, you man without a country? I mean, you, you see, uh, <laughs> you, 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 you on a Trump uh, re-election? Well, I mean, just because I work with both sides to get things done, you yeah, know, that's, that's well, just okay Just give me now, one. Just give me, give me your top, I, uh, top my, I got three. a home state guy who's doing really well, Cory Booker, and uh, we're all behind him here. For, uh, to get the presidential nomination? Yeah, he's running for president. Oh, and I know. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I know. I saw that. Uh, yeah, so are 21 other people. I, I think he's like... It's, it's, a, it's a crowded it's like field, but I'll tell you what, I, what I'm focused on. Let's get our taxes down. Let's fix our roads and bridges. Let's get health care more affordable. They're they basic care? things we've got to get done here, and that's what I'm focused on. <laughs> Congressman Gottheimer, it's good to see it's you. It's great to see you. infrastructure, see, all these investigations, guys. Josh. You're not kidding. You, 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 that's, I'll say it again. You get nothing. I like it. Anyway, thank you.